Tichakuzai Guarama Fambirero. Tichakuzai is not a risk. We are starting afresh. We are starting from zero. Tikutanga Pacha and the Rokutenda in a support. Yamunopa. He soon disabled the life. We come. He got Tomba. He got Nama Tiba. He got Confusion, conflict, and near collapse appears to be what Triple C stands for at the moment. There's a lot of confusion in the cockpit. Many believe the party itself, as it was known, the Triple C is about to collapse. Factions have emerged, causing serious conflict, where once Comrades are naming each other, labeling each other. And we know, as we now know, we are told that maybe another C in the triple C stands for the CIO. Because everyone in that party appears to have been bought or to be working with the CIO, the Central Intelligence Organization of Zimbabwe. Now, we are trying to find the answers. We are trying to ensure that you, those who had faith in the party, those who cast their vote for it, and those who have faith in Zimbabwe, understand what is happening. Now, this is the situation right now with me, your host as usual, Dara B. And I will be in conversation with Promise Mkwanan, the spokesperson of the Triple C, who was appointed in that position by its former president, Nelson Chamisa before he resigned. Now join me after this break as we talk people, power, politics, and the three, three C's that have made many sea flames. Welcome back to this, the situation right now with me, your host as usual, Dara B. And here on this, the hot seat, I have promised Mkwananzi who is here to talk to us about what is happening in the party, beleaguered or not. Welcome, Promise, and thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Now, Promise, let us talk about the crisis in your political party. Now, first of all, who is the genuine spokesperson? of the Triple C. There is absolutely no question about <coughs> the genuine spokesperson of the Triple C. As you stated in your opening remarks, it is promising Mkwanans as appointed by President Nelson Chamisa at the time, and nothing has changed. Right, but Jacob Mafumi, uh, uh, who's also the spokesperson, uh, or calls himself the spokesperson of the Triple C, uh, says in Blawaya, he said uh, with the national executive of the triple C or rather of the MDC alliance which was rebranded into the triple C. Let's, let's clear the air on that one. You put it rightly, uh, Mr. Mafume calls himself whatever he calls himself, but the fact of the matter is that Mr. Mafume sat in Bulawayo God knows with who under what mandate, but according to his own statement he was sitting on the auspices of an MDC Congress that took place in 2019 in Guero. And that MDC was later obliterated by the courts of law, uh, uh, by the Supreme Court, actually. And uh, at the time of that Congress and that the obliteration of the MDC, the Triple C did not exist. The Triple C only began to exist in January 2022. And it is my singular plea that Mr. Mafume and his group must not pretend to be a part, let alone a faction, of the Triple C. They, according to their own basis, they are a faction of the MDC and they must face their skeletons with Mr. Monzora. Uh, Professor Washman Nile in particular uh, 
has never been a member of the Triple C. He has never attended a single meeting of the Triple C, the Citizens National Assembly, and never took part in the campaigns that took place that brought about the MPs and councillors. So, but that's not, that, that's not a fact. That, 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 um, that, that we're talking about. He, that, never, he never participated. That, that's not a fact. When the Triple C launched in, uh, in Blawayo, in the by elections, I was there to cover mm -hmm. it live. Okay. Washman we attended that rally. Mm -hmm. When the Triple C had its rally at White City Stadium mm -hmm. in the 2023 general elections, mm -hmm. Washman Mube, dressed in yellow, was sitting next to Nelson Chamisa. Mm -hmm. He was even sitting next to Nelson Chamisa in the Bait Bridge rally. I covered it, I saw him, and we filmed him. So that is not a fact, okay. is it? You, you, you see, you're mentioning three occasions. President Chamisa held more than 100 rallies across the country, campaigning for Triple C. And uh, if, you, if you give those three rallies or four rallies, whatever, to him, clearly, uh, Professor Wushman cannot claim what he is claiming about the Triple C. He did not attend a single meeting of the Citizens National Assembly. And these are facts. And that totally disqualifies him. If you miss three consecutive meetings without an adequate explanation or excuse or apology, you are automatically uh, expelling yourself from the movement. And that has been the case with both Professor Oshman Mube and Mr. Tendai BD. But more importantly, a uh, blessing is to really look at the checkered history of these gentlemen. Before we go to the history, before we go to the history, before we go to the history, I want us to be clear. How did Nelson Chamisa become president of the Triple C? Who voted for him? Nelson Chamisa is the founder of the Triple C and the president of the Triple C in terms of our constitution as well as the Citizens National Assembly of our party. How, how did he found this party? He just woke up and he said... Anybody can found a party. Yeah, I, 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 I yes. know, but I want to... How? Know. How is neither here nor there. You, if you can find your own... If you feel like you want to form your own party, you take a group of people... Form, well, because form promise we need... We, need we are to, talking in terms of the laws of our country. We need to be factual here. Yes. And, and not fudge facts. Mm -hmm. uh, the Triple C was formed right mm -hmm. um as a political party yes and the same faces that were in the mdc alliance it doesn't matter no 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 no, no. yes the same faces the same structures mm -hmm. the same members of parliament who are in the mdc alliance yes find themselves in the triple c mm -hmm. in fact at bronte where the party was announced i was there mm -hmm. the people who were preparing for this were staff that used to work for the MDC Alliance, right? Mm -hmm. Where spokespersons who used to speak for the MDC Alliance, mm -hmm. right? And then when you say someone just founded the party as if it just rose from thin air, I don't understand. My so brother, make me understand. If, if, if you are going to get answers from me, you would have to let me explain to you. Yeah. You see, um, President Chamisa founded the Triple C. He stepped aside from the MDC and said, I, as Nelson Chamisa, I'm stepping away from the MDC. I'm going here and I'm starting a political party called the Citizens Coalition for Change. Those that are willing to join me, you are free to do so. Those that are not, you are also free to do so. Those that want to maintain their positions of the 2019 Congress, there is the MDC, is all yours. You can maintain those positions. If you are crossing over to Triple C, we are not crossing over with the same infrastructure from the MDC. Which means whoever crossed over to Triple C agreed to leave behind the positions that they carried in the MDC and came in the individual capacity to start a new political formation, which is the Citizens' Coalition for Change. So all the people who were recalled from Parliament, from the MDC Alliance, yes. are the same people we see running as members of, or as candidates for the Triple C in the March 22 by-elections. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Why not? I mean, we look, 
<laughs> it is a democracy. If you go to, to, to lead in democracies in the world, even in Africa, if you go to Kenya, people cross political parties as many times as they want. And people can form political parties as many times as they want, isn't it? If you go to Kenya, at every election they form a party or they form an electoral vehicle under which they contest uh, elections. There is absolutely nothing untoward about that. Some did come along with Advocate Nelson Chamisa, other stayed with Mundoretti as their democratic right. So, but you cannot then try to conflate the MDC and, and CCC because these are two distinct entities. So, what you basically and the claim they are making is a claim of the MDC as constituted at the Congress of 2019, which is fine and which is their democratic right. But they must not then try to insulate their MDC garbage into CCC. So. So what you're basically telling me is I take all this equipment that belongs to HSTV, I take the stuff that belongs to HSTV, and then I say it's now Dara TV. This is what Chamisa did. You can you can say, guys, I'm leaving. What is the name of that guy who left the other radio? Zola, what what? You can leave, you can say, guys, I'm leaving, heart and soul. I'm forming Dara TV. Those that want to come with me, they can come with me. Those that want to stay here, they, they, they can stay here. But those that stay here can't then say, you have rebranded uh, 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 Heart and Soul into Dara TV because you left them. And you told them that you can keep and maintain your positions here and continue with this. But uh, personally, I'm going to start a new program. And those that want to come with me can come with me. Those that don't want. That but there'd the, the be no confusion there. Uh, you, you, it's, it's amazing that you tell me that Tendai Biti, who was the vice president, l did not join or did not become the member of the Triple C. I didn't talk about Tendai Biti. I spoke about Washington. He joined. But how much effort did he put in? I, I saw Tendai Biti in Chipinga with, the, with, the, with your president. Yes. I, I saw the Triple C using... Um, using Tendaibiti law chambers as its hub for press conferences. So I saw what about after after the primary elections? What did you see? What did you see? I saw you guys running around the country. Campaigning, isn't it? Working. And who, were, who was at the forefront of, of, of the campaign? It was Nelson Chamisa. On the day of nomination, when your president Nelson Chamisa went, then your then president Nelson Chamisa uh -huh. went to file his papers. Uh -huh. He was flanked by Tendai Biti. Yes. And when your Blawayo candidates were denied an opportunity to be on the ballot box, they were represented by Walshman Mui. Walshman Mui fought. I saw him in court. Were they? I yes. They were represented by Runganga. Walshman Mui was Mugai there. With him. And Mugai, he could have been there and, why, and so on and so forth. But yeah. look, he should not claim what is what what is not there because in the triple C there's never been a position of deputy president, for example. They, they say that's why they have to talk about MDC. But you can't you can't say Washburn wasn't part of the triple C. That's I mean I mean oh, you, you know you know when you're talking to members of the public, my brother, uh, yes, Welshman was not and has never been the deputy president of the triple C because there is no such position. There is no position of Secretary General. There is no position of all these positions that, that they're claiming to, to have held in, in, in this triple C. So they cannot say, hey, so I saw Tendai saying, I'm the Vice President of the triple C. There was no such position and he knows it. Let, let's talk about, do you, you are fighting for control of triple C that is effectively... We in are in control of triple C. We are not fighting for control of You are in control of triple C? We are in charge, we are in control of the triple C. So why did you recall your members? Sorry? Why did you recall your members? Which members? The, the MPs that we recalled, the councillors that we recalled. You know, oh, blessing, that the, the, our, our MPs, we cannot... I mean, it's only people who did not put in effort who can make that kind of reckless... But you said you're in control. control. We are in control. Yes, but so, you, yes. so if you're in control, you're the one who's recalling? No, it's not us. So you're not we're, in control? We're in control of the party, uh -huh. totally. You see, the party is not just MPs. The MPs are a small component of the party. The party, when we speak about the party, we are speaking about the emblems of the party. We are speaking about the structures of the party. We are speaking about the supporters of the party. But, but, 
But the essence to us, of for us, political party is to gain to political us. power. Is it not? It is. And you don't have political power at the we moment. You do have political power. You, you tried to recall we may, we may, look, you failed. Look, we may not have state power, but we have power. We have influence. We have the following. We have the largest support in, 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 in Zimbabwe. And the recalls that you refer to were done by some people. We all know that. They were instigated by Mnangagwa, aided by an imposter. We need not belabor the people of Zimbabwe about that knowledge, which is now public, and general knowledge, that it was not us, the leadership of the C, who did the recalls. It was an imposter uh, who was aided by the regime to recall our members of parliament. I, I must, the, these imposters continue to be in bed with the regime. And whatever they are doing, they are working together to try and decimate the genuine and authentic Triple C, the genuine and authentic uh, leading political party in Zimbabwe, which was led by advocate Nelson Chamisa. Mm. Now, so, some would argue that you don't have a following as a party. Nelson Chamisa is the one who has a following. What, how would you push back to that? Well, that, 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 that's a matter of semantics. Uh, President Chamisa, for sure, he is the largest following in Zimbabwe. In fact, in my view, President Chamisa is the leader of the democratic movement, the democratic alternative in its broad sense in Zimbabwe. And his resignation, paradoxically, actually elevates him even over and above to become the leader of the democratic uh, alternative in Zimbabwe beyond and which transcends the political parties. Those that uh, may not have believed in Triple C and those that may have believed in other things can now have the opportunity to support President Chamisa beyond the Triple C. You, 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 you continue using uh, the symbol with Nelson Chamisa's face as you communicate about on issues of Triple C as the party spokesperson. <laughs> but the guy left the party. <laughs> yes, the guy left the party. So why are you abusing his face? We are not abusing his face. His face is part of the part. The genuine triple C, which he led, and in which he appointed me and others to be part of the leadership contingent that he was driving. There is no... Uh, there is no discohesion, there is no contradiction between ourselves and President Nelson Chamisa. We respect his decision to step aside and his reasons for stepping aside. We agree with his reasons, so do the people of Zimbabwe. So why are you forcing him? Why are you dragging his face? Like, like I'm not seen, dragging his face. His like face we, we have seen his the face, face of has been, Shanghai being dragged. His face has been the symbol of our party since its formation so it doesn't in own january person. no in january 2022 and as we speak we have had the citizens national assembly to look into the resignation of president chamisa and look at what it means to the party its implications and part of the, that that reflection is on what to do with all the things that we are asking it's a process a decision-making process, a collective decision-making process of the leadership that remains in the aftermath of the resignation of President Nelson Chamisa. And remember, President Chamisa resigns from the triple C, but does not resign from politics. Now, now you, you had a, a constitution in, in the triple C. Yes. What happens to the triple C in the event of a president resign? What do you mean? I mean, is there a succession plan in the Triple C? Look, we have a living constitution. It is one of the best uh, uh, constitutions ever crafted. Do you believe that? I believe that. It's a living constitution. It, it, it is because the, the constitution... This constitution that has yes. a, a name of a particular individual. And now that he has resigned, you are stuck. We are not stuck. You, you, you are struggling <laughs> to find a replacement. No, 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 no. At, at one point, you, you were appointed president, or you appointed yourself no, president. No, no, my brother, we are not struggling at all. Uh -huh. We are cruising nicely. We have set as the Citizens National Assembly, which is the highest decision-making board, to reflect on the resignation of President Chamisa. We selected Mr. Senator Timber to be the chief administrator 
of 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 of, of the party uh, in conjunction with uh, appointees that President Chamisa left there, including myself, a spokesperson, uh, and others who are there who are leading different bureaus of the party. So there's no vacuum, and this information is particularly uh, targeted at Mr. Mafume and others. We are frothy, thinking that there is a leadership vacuum in the Triple C. There is no leadership vacuum in the Triple C. We have filled in the position, the, 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 the gap, and we are leading. Uh, okay, let's talk about your ascension temporarily to the position of president of the Triple C. Let's have that discussion. What do you mean temporarily? In the, after, in the morning, we had a letter that you are the president. Mm -hmm. Parliament received a letter that yes. you are now a president. Uh -huh. In the afternoon, there's a press conference. You are no longer the president. Yes. So you are president for a bit of four hours. Yes. How did it feel to be president? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a president before of the students' movement at, at the university as well as the Zimbabwe National Students' Union. So I know the feeling. But you see, that those were strategic interventions in light of the resignations and in the context of the vouchers and the opportunity, opportunities that we are speaking about. We are closing a particular gap. We did close it until we are able to sit as a collective and formally fill in the gap. So there is nothing amiss there that, that took place. To an ordinary person or to somebody who doesn't understand the strategy that was being employed, yes, they will have questions. But internally, in terms of our internal strategy, we're quite clear about what we were doing and why we we're doing what we were doing. Mm. And, and, and let's talk about you working with the, the state. You are a CIO. I've never worked with the state. I've never worked for the state in my lifetime. If you, if you follow my history, uh, um, I come from the students' movement, right? Uh, Zimbabwe National Students, SRC, Zimbabwe National Students' Union. Youth. I've been a youth leader in this country, in the opposition, in the democratic movement. I've been a leader of Tajamoka, in the opposition, in the democratic movement. And now I'm a leader in the opposition. In, in Zimbabwe. Look, if I wanted to work for the state, I would. If I wanted to work for Zan or to join Zan, I could, because it is my democratic right to do so. But I did it, and I will not. I belong to this opposition, and there are reasons. I don't belong to the opposition for the sake of belonging to the opposition. But, but, I but, belong to the but, opposition. But your, your history d doesn't prove anything from this, does it? Because uh, uh, Tafazo Mugwadi comes from the history of student movement. Yes. He is, he, 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 he. I think the example that you use yes. is very, very, very useful in cementing the point that I'm making, which is to say, if I wanted to work for Zahano, I wouldn't need to, to hide or to be apologetic about it. It would have been my right to do so. The accusation is that as you, much are, as you, are, you are a more, more the, the accusation is that you are a more, and the accusation are, from who? You know. Because you have been responding to some of this. From whom? So you're sitting here to, 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 to have your voice and your face. Because you have seen your responses on social media. Yeah. You're sitting here to face the people of Zimbabwe so that you give them a response. Uh, my, my conscience is clear. My heart is clear. You know, I've, I, I don't have sleepless nights. I don't have skeletons in my closet. I save this movement with my, my whole heart. And I save it from the bottom of my heart. And I do not care what people say. Because deep down in my heart, of hearts, I know where I stand. I've been a loyal cadre of this movement. And I'm proud to have been one. So what is to the, some extent... What is the motivation the, behind people who say that you are uh, a plant? There has been a systematic attempt to discredit people that are perceived as being supportive or sympathetic to President Nelson Chamisa. And you are going to see it unfold where there is a systematic attempt to, to discredit a leaders who are perceived as being sympathetic to, to President Nelson Chamisa in Parliament, in the party, everywhere they are going to be labelled. And those that are labelling them, their aim is not, excuse me, it's not even a triple C. Their aim is Nelson Chamisa. They want to work together with ZANU and other elements to destroy 
particularly the image and standing of President Nelson Chamisa, and we're aware of that, and we are not worried about that because these are things that we knew beforehand that they are coming, and we have countered them, we have contained them, the movement is in order, our supporters are clear, and we are moving forward. Just this afternoon, I was meeting with a group of, of church leaders, you know, speaking to them about the way forward. As stakeholders, we will be meeting the students, we will be meeting labor, we will be meeting the media, we will be meeting the informal sector, we are meeting different sectors of, of our country in order to have a conversation with them on what has happened and well, chart the way forward. On the other hand, Nelson Chamisa uh, is, is going blue. Um, is meeting people differently you are meeting people differently but you all say you are working together i mean this is confusing promise <laughs> the confusion is meant for the opponents well, there is no confusion internally but i'm not an opponent i'm the media yes. i inform people and i'm confused they're not confused Jesse. okay where, where is the confusion you're blue you're yellow you're sometimes non-committal in on what you are sometimes CIO. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> That's the most laughable thing. I know you know this this these guys they try whatever they want to try, but you see, you cannot defeat the truth. You can try, you can use all your journalistic skills in the fullness of time. You have to show the truth, you have to show the evidence, you have to prove that this is the truth, and the truth is incontaminatable. So so you you represent and you believe in Nelson Chamisa, right? Nelson Chamisa is my leader. He's been my leader for a long time. And and, and your leader has been accused of being autocratic. Leaders will always be accused of something. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they are accused uh, of being autocratic. By who? By the people that he used to call friends. By Welshman Mwe, by Jacob Mafu. I mean, Welshman Mwe should just rest, man. I saw a photograph of him and I felt sorry for the old man. Let's relax. It's time to relax, talk to young people, folk tale, and you know, enjoy his life. His time is up, unfortunately. And um, I spoke about the checkered history. No, you know, uh, I, 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 I hardly speak about people's personalities, but when you look at the history of Professor Moshman Mwe and the things that he has done to prevent this movement in meeting its objectives, it's quite sad. In 2002, they connived with that guy, they accused Trangirai of treason, they split the party, they support Simba Makoni. In 2013, he refuses to be part of coalition, divides the vote, and now in 2024, 2024 here we are. He's still at the forefront of being destructive in the opposition. Why is it that every time you guys in the opposition disagree, you you are name calling? How about these are facts? I'm just, I'm not even emotional about it. I'm just stating facts for the public to, to, to make their own judgments. These are historically established facts that are beyond debate. This has been his role. And I, I wonder, looking at him as a professor, to say, is this the legacy that he wants but, but you, for himself? But you guys, your president Nelson Chamisa, uh, as then he was, um, knew about this. But he insisted, even after the death of Morgan Changrai, to, to have Welshman Nui by his side. But you say he's got a checkered history. I mean, was the man blind? The man isn't blind. The man is a unifier, you know. And uh, but he's failed to unify his party. It's in tatters right now. The How party is unify? not in tatters and he has not failed. You see, when when you have a girlfriend or a wife and they do something, it cannot be a fault, man. It can't be a fault. He gave the olive branch to say those that want a new Zimbabwe let us work together. We were. You know, at some point he was shouting at me personally. Say, you why you keep keep mentioning people's names? You're being divisive. You're being this. We want everyone so that we can achieve change together. That is the spirit of the leadership of Nelson Chamisa. And of course, there will always be people that want to take advantage and exploit the goodwill. And uh, we see it again. 
I, I want us to, to Jacob uh, Mafume, you're talking about uh, Jacob Mafume. Jacob Mafume struggled to become an, a, a counselor, the year to be rescued in his word. And the people know they don't know this. And the president was saying, look, he has been our mayor, he's got this and that skills, he can be of use in council, let's make sure. But look at what he's doing today. He's gone wrong. Not just within the party, even in council, there are a lot of issues taking place uh, uh, at the council there, which are untoward. But, and, uh, but, but Mafume but, but, Mafume, to preside Ma, over Mafume, those things. Mafume says, Mafume says to me in an interview that I just had with him, mm. Mafume said to me that you are trying to use the Minister of Local Government so that you can protect some contracts that you have with the Harare City Council. And you wrote a letter to recall him. Me as a person or as a... What, what, what? He said you, you wrote a letter pretending to have been sent by Nelson Chamisa <laughs> to recall him from his post. I am the spokesperson of the Triple C. Right? That mandate is undisputable. And I am the person who communicates the resolutions of the Citizens National Assembly, internal and externally. And what I did was just to communicate a resolution of the Citizens National Assembly with regards to the people that were supposed to be recalled, who had ceased, who have ceased to be members of our political party. The fact that the, 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 the regime did not affect the, the, the recall is another matter, but legally and lawfully, that recall should be effected. And we're going to be writing a follow-up letter to the minister to say what has become of the recall on, on Mr. Mafume, especially in light of the new developments, where he himself says that he's a member of the MDC of 2019. So, let's talk about the contracts. What contracts do you have with the city council? What, what contracts are you talking about? He said you have contracts. Mafume actually said you are corrupt <laughs> and you're trying to defend contracts that you have. And you were trying to do a lab at Morton Jeffrey Works. And he, he as the mayor is aware of that. You were, you were saying that? He said that in an interview. My that is, he that said that I was trying to do a lab. Yes. What, the, what does he mean? Yes. You see, when, when corrupt people, what they do, they try to distract attention from them. So they're just like the, you see, when these people keep saying, so and so is Anu, is a state, they are the state. And their strategy is to deflect attention from themselves and put attention elsewhere. Mr. Mafume is on a tirade of plunder in the city of Arar. It is known. Evidence has been compiled, and the evidence will be presented at the appropriate time. So Nelson Chamisa saved him from from failing to be elected. Yet you knew, he knew that this man is a tyrant of plunder. What kind of political know. party you're running? He didn't know, and also Mafuma became rogue after the elections when he was not happy that the party had not selected him as mayor. Then he went rogue. Not before. He went rogue after the elections. So he must be punished because he's wrong, because he doesn't believe in what you're doing anymore. Is that, I mean, is that... No, 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 no. Look, every, when you join a political party, it has principles and objectives that you must subscribe to, isn't it? And when you fail or refuse to follow the... Because, look, Mafume, or not, not just Mafume, let's not, let's depersonalize it. And say every candidate who participated in elections under the ticket of the triple C, they are answerable to the triple C because whatever they do, wherever they are, has a bearing on the image of the part. And as leadership of the part, we must we have an obligation to ensure that our deployees comply with the dictates of the principles of the Citizen Coalition for Change, which is the party under which they were elected. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And when you defy those all those candidates that you see they were made to sign a subscription to say we subscribe to these values we subscribe to these political parties and we will take direction from the leadership of the party and when you don't do that or when you do something that is at cross purposes with the values and the principles of the party we cannot stand aside and watch you we will administer uh, whatever we, we need to do to to ensure that you, either you comply or at least you are not in a position 
to put the party into disrepute. Let me let me take you to Job Scala. Mm -hmm. He was your cadre. He has since dumped the triple C. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Again, it is democratic right. My personal feeling is that uh, Honorable Scala should have, when he was released, I think he, if if I had the opportunity to talk to him, it's my brother. I would have advised him to you know just take time out, beat with my guru and you know just catch up on what has happened in the 590 whatever 95 days that he was in there recuperate himself and then at the appropriate time you know make the decisions i felt that the decisions were a bit hurried and um, perhaps it could have but it's again it, i can only advise it's his personal prerogative to, to do what he, he, wants. he, he said that uh, in his words, that uh, the two warring parties in the Triple C did nothing for his release while he was in prison, and for the welfare of his family. What? What? what well, why did you abandon a comrade, a <laughs> colleague? I know that you guys in the media love controversy. Wait, 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 if you go to, if you, I know you guys in media do information analytics and one of you. If you go to the official handles of the party and the handles of the key leadership of the party and make an analysis and tell us how many posts we had in solidarity with Jobs at the most basic level, then you go to the courts where we were there in solidarity through and through. Color. Not just the color. In fact, the issue of solidarity in the party is a, is, a, is a matter of principle. That whenever one of us is arrested or is in trouble, we stand with them. And it's applied to Honorable Sikala to the best of our ability. What we could not do is to release him because we don't have the power to release him. And we're not the ones who arrested him in the first place. But we know that Honorable Sikala was wrongfully arrested, unlawfully detained, and in our view, must be compensated and justice must be said. He, he appears to be forming his own political party. Mm -hmm. Does that threaten you? No. The more the merrier. This is a multi-party democracy. That is, we fought against one party state. We stopped Mnangagwa from two-thirds. And uh, of course, our colleagues have gifted him that two-thirds. But we are going to continue to fight that Mr. Mnangagwa does not get a, 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 to be president beyond his two term limits, and 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 you, you you're talking about two thirds majority, and you said our colleagues, you admit that they are your colleagues. Sorry, you said our colleagues have gifted Mnanga two thirds. Our erstwhile majority. colleagues, our erstwhile colleagues, they were our colleagues, and uh, and they go rogue. They go rogue. We march on with the objectives of the people of Zimbabwe. Some people have argued that the opposition in this country does not fight for the people. You fight to feed your stomachs. You fight for personal gain and glory. And once one of you is left out of personal gain, those that are angry because they could not go to parliament are known. And name them. No, but, but you said they are not. Yes, they, so yes. Should I name them if they are not? Everybody yeah. knows. I, I there don't are know. people I don't who know. tried to go to parliament, they did not succeed, they got angry. It clearly shows that their agenda had nothing to do with saving the people. Because saving the people, you can save. I'm not in parliament, but I, I provide service to the people as the spokesperson of, of the opposition. And I'm okay. President Chamisa could have, you know, uh, accepted the trinkets by the regime, yeah, opposition leader, these big vehicles, did he do that? He did it. And the regime is very bitter because the regime would have wanted an opposition leader who accepts to be part of the feeding uh, trough so that the people are forgotten. And I want to salute Nelson Chamisa for standing strong against intimidation, against the cohesion, and even against the inducements by trinkets. He has refused. He has stood out as a leader who is principled and who is determined to save the people of Zimbabwe. And all these fights against him are because of that. So, I was talking to someone 
saying when I saw some summons by Monzora to uh, against Nelson Chamisa and said, ah, Kuru Chamisa kuninge kuru kubada. People are falling over each other to fight Chamisa so that those who have got the money can pay them to do that. What, what summons are this for? For the offices around the country. Monzora is now saying only the offices are his office. They're citing Nelson Chamisa in those, in those summons, despite the fact that he has resigned. But his face, his picture is bl is blue in blue. I mean, <laughs> surely he, he's the one who's taken them, isn't it? <laughs> no. he, he goes blue. The, the, People paint from yellow to blue. Let us separate. Let us separate. Let us Chamisa the brand and Nelson Chamisa the person. Hmm? How, how do you do that? You do that. That's a brand huh? that will outlive even he himself. Are you not putting a leader or a human being on a pedestal in what? and making him a demigod? No, 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 no. Leaders, look, if you have got a picture of, 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 of Joshua Nkong, that picture, when you, whenever you scroll around the social media, you see a picture of Joshua Nkong, it, it, it stimulates certain feelings in you. That is his legacy. And that's why I said, when Professor, when Professor Nguyen's image is flighted in years to come what kind of feelings is it going to stimulate among the generation that will be living there it's a very important question for any leader to ask themselves not to be asked and uh, i want to challenge professor washman Mube, tendai Bide and others to just have a, you know a, 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 an internal conversation to say what legacy am i going to create for myself when i'm long gone i think it's important undoubtedly tendai Biti was one of your best members of parliament in the last parliament Absolutely. especially the work that you did with the F public finance committee Absolutely. and how do you lose such a wealth of experience and knowledge we don't lose it. It's passed on to other leaders. Look, you don't, you don't say uh, the term limit is put there precisely so that the best leaders are limited from saving forever. The most popular leaders are limited from saving forever. That's why that's the whole essence of a term limit, right? It was initially introduced in America. I can't remember which president. You ran for ter four terms, winning with 98%. And they said, no, this is not right. No matter how popular you are or how good you are, you must be able to pass on the button to the others. That's the whole sense of a term limit. And Honorable BT, I think, served from maybe 2000 to this day. So, and uh, it would be tragedy for Mr. BT to argue that I have to go to parliament because I have not managed to do a skills transfer to the next generation. I, I want to, I want to appreciate this. Mm -hmm. Um... Maybe just just give us facts here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who made the executive of President Nelson Chamisa's Triple C when he was president? It's the Citizens National Assembly. Who was his deputy? He didn't have a deputy. He didn't believe that there was anyone who was capable to no, be no, a deputy no. in his absence. No, no, no. no. I, there were leaders in the past. You see, uh, my brother. We must be open to new and disruptive uh, structures. I mean, what is, what is, agree. What, what is agree. disruptive about, about let's not agree. having a, a deputy? I mean, what's disruptive well, about that? Let's, uh, no, no, before we go there, let's mean, agree. That, I, I let's not agree. agree with it. I think it is actually destructive and not disruptive. No. no. Look, we must. You know, okay, for example, we are a it was one of the most amorphous structures to ever come. But look at the impact that it had in, in the country, you know? And Triple C as well. Well, we, we, the, we didn't say we the deputy, but the question is how impactful was it in terms of being an effective vehicle for electoral competition in the country? It's dying. Sorry? The triple C is dying. It's dying. Yes. The president just left. Yeah, the president left. And, and, we're, and, talking and, about, and, and, we're talking and, about the result that the triple C had from its formation in all the elections that it participated in. It was an effective vehicle. It was an effective vehicle. But would it not be more effective had it had, uh, you know, if 
the president had the deputy, the president had maybe two they have actually been worse. Why? Because there is no one. Oh, we don't know what to say. Him. No, 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 no. It was not. It's not about that. He come. Your it, president it comes a... along as someone who is power hungry, who doesn't believe in the abilities of others, and thinks that only him has an answer. No, no, no. How, how would I have been spokesperson? How would Fadza have been spokesperson? Chibaya organizer, Ostalo's deputy, uh, Gladys Fletcher, international relations, uh, Morinka de Maunga, uh, welfare, and many others that I, I'm just naming but a few. You know, he believed in their leadership and still believes in their leadership. One of the best opposition leaders to come through in Zimbabwe has will always be remembered is Morgan Changrai. Mm -hmm. Morgan Changrai used to have deputies, he used to have advisors around him and stuff like that. Why was Nelson Chamisa stingy? He wasn't stingy. He had the lieutenants that were required to, to, to serve the purpose. We were there. You, we, we, you, only, you only come after elections. Yes, but before elections, I had a lot of tasks that I was carrying out behind the scenes. You see, the, the issue is not many people, they focus on the on the leaders that are publicly available, spokesperson and so on and so on, but there are people who are doing a lot of work behind the scenes who do probably more important work than some of us who are at the forefront. You, 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 you once tweeted that Nelson Chamisa wanted to make you minister. <laughs> <laughs> what ministry did he want to give you? I don't know. You know, it was, he is the president. And uh, I was actually honored when he told me that, you know. Uh, it was music to my ears, not because of the ministry, but because of the confidence and trust that he, he demonstrated to me. Uh, and you know what? Let me tell you, and I want this to be public. Um, I am obligated to fight on the side of Nelson Chamisa because I believe in his leadership. I believe in the principles that, that, that he follows. And most importantly, if he also believes in me in some way or is able to give me the opportunity, I must appreciate that. And it is a rare thing. Most leaders are given the opportunity, but they end up backbiting the leader, which is sad. You know, which is sad. Uh, we, when you're given an opportunity. If, if, I, if I accuse you of being a praise, praise singer who sees nothing wrong with his leader, Nelson Chamisa, and who always. We, will actually lead him astray by singing praise even when he's wrong. What would you say? Uh, my brother, you have never been in a room where I'm seated with President Nelson and Chamisa, the two of us. Why should we um, uh, say our weaknesses on Twitter? What, what is the rationale? What, what, what's the point? If we're building each other as leaders, mm -hmm. if, if President Chamisa says something wrong with me, I've done so many mistakes, I'm human, right? And he goes to Twitter, am I spokesperson, this and that. Is he building the party if he does that? But he can say, no, promise, this tweet is, or this statement must be corrected this way, this way. Okay. We don't go on a public gallery to, to speak about our weaknesses as a team, even a football team. Your, your president just wrote a resignation, never spoke to the to the uh, citizens' national assembly, as you call it. Um, why did he do that? Why didn't he have trust uh, in in the organ? He spoke to people, you know. You know, a, a decision to resign is a personal decision. Fine, he's a public figure and he has public... But you can't have a personal decision on a public platform. He he was running. He was the face of a party, of a political party. Mm -hmm. And and the people of Zimbabwe voted close to two million mm -hmm. people gave him their vote. Yes. And they'll still give him even more votes. Are you taking them for granted? So, no, not. Just a few days ago, I tweeted, I just wrote two million votes and put his face. It means a lot. And, uh, it, but it should not only mean a lot in terms of scrutinizing him, it. it should also mean a lot to all these people that are causing all this problem. What, to say, what weaknesses do you think Nelson Chamisa has? Well, I don't think this is the right platform, man. Eh? We can have coffee somewhere and, and talk about that. Uh, he is also human. He can make mistakes, but our duty as his lieutenants is to cover him, isn't it? Not them to expose him. The reason why you have these people is because of the realization that you are human and you are not infallible 
you have other people that are going to complement and cover you. Friends, from now, what next? The, the, the struggle for democratization continues in Zimbabwe. And it has just been broadened and elevated. Many people don't realize that Chamisa has done a master stroke move. He has elevated himself over and above and beyond political parties to be available as a leader to all citizens in the country. And I think that um, while we remain in Triple C, we believe that um, his principles and his beliefs uh, and his loyalty and faithfulness and the authenticity to the struggle for the people, for the f total and genuine freedom of the people of Zimbabwe must remain the compass of the masses of our people. Amazing. I want to thank you very much, Promise, for, for sharing insights and talking to us about um, what is happening in the Triple C. But before you go, Promise, I'd ask you to look the people of Zimbabwe in the eye and all those across the world who support and believe uh, in what you're doing or who have doubts also in what you're doing, mm -hmm. to look them in the eye and talk to them right now from your heart, from the voice of your party since you're a spokesperson. Uh, people of Zimbabwe, I want to personally, from the bottom of my heart, assure you that I am not a CEO, I've never been a CEO, and will never be a CEO. I've served this country with everything I've got, at times at great personal cost, but to me, it means nothing. What satisfies and fulfills my heart is the service that I render to this country. And in the fullness of time, the legacy that I shall leave, not just for myself, but for my family, for my children and for my countrymen. I want to assure you that we, we are going to continue to stand strong, to fight until we achieve the change that the people of Zimbabwe want to see in this country. We will not waver. We will not be shaken. They might arrest us, they might denigrate, they might do whatever they want, but we stand strong and change will be achieved. Amazing. Thank you very much, Promise Mkwananzi. So um, the Triple C spokesperson, uh, Promise Mkwananzi, uh, former leader of Tajamuka, alleged CIO <laughs> activist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, short time president of the Triple C <laughs> was here in studio with me having a conversation on what the party looks like and he assures all of us here that they are in control of the Triple C and they're saving the interests of the people who voted for the Triple C and also for their leader who once was Nelson Chamisa. Now Zimbabweans, we ought to know who our leaders are. We ought to ask the questions and we ought to get the answers. It is the responsibility of those who want to lead us to respond to our concerns. We sit here as HSTV and as Dara B to get those answers for you. Because without transparency, accountability and scrutiny, we can never be a better nation. Now I'm here to shine the light in the dark spaces of our country until we get the best. Now this is and this will always be the situation right now with me, Dara B. Thank you for choosing us. Haran Soul TV and radio is your station of choice. And thank you for loving me. Until next time. Thank you for me. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Wonderful.